Hi everybody, Jeff Garage Maker Guy here. Uh, so I got the CNC panels back for the virtual pinball machine, the removable arcade uh, control panel, um, primarily for MAME. But if you want to leave it connected to the cabinet, it will also run the pinball machines. But we want to be making sure that we can keep the pinball machine looking like a pinball machine. So if we're not playing arcade games, when you look at the cabinet, it looks like just a straight up pinball machine. So enough of that. So um, the CNC work came out amazing. However, um, the Ultimark uh, spin track, not the spin track, the uh, uh, whatever the trackball thing is called, um, said it was for three quarter inch. Well, not quite. I had to take and router off about an eighth a little more than an eighth probably like three sixteenths um down into the panel to get the top of the track ball high enough up on the other side so when you use the trim ring it was flush so eh not a big deal got to pull the router out of the bag and use it it's been uh, put away for quite some time but uh yeah, so that went well. The inserts are in place. Those are the uh, easy lock or whatever they're called, the 1024 um, inserts. And then I've cut the uh, slot for the T-molding. And we are pretty much ready to go. Um, there's my, my router table with my little dealio for cutting the slot uh, it's called a slot cutter imagine that um, so over here I've put the primer on the back side I'm about to flip it over and uh, I did tape up the brass fitting so I didn't fill up the threads with paint um, I'll paint the top side let it dry overnight and then we will put the control panel overlay on the other side, um, trim it and put the T-molding on and then uh, it will be ready for uh, controls to be mounted. And of course I have to do this times two because I'm building one for my brother and myself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just an update. I wanted to take some pictures before I put it all together. Um, yeah, that was it. And having the thing CNC cut was absolutely great. Uh, it didn't cost very much. I think it was like 50 bucks for each panel, um, which sounds like a lot. But if you put all the labor into it, um, and it, it just it takes up a lot of time. And that's the one thing uh, uh, <laughs> we, we all don't have an unlimited amount of. So anyway... I'll give you another update soon. Take care, and then once that thing is done, I can get back onto this, because this is where I want to be. So have fun, be safe, and enjoy your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, that's what it looks like with about 50 pounds of weight on top of a control panel, on top of an overlay, on top of another control panel that the overlay is stuck to. So, basically, um, the overlay is on the first control panel. This is the one for my brother. And um, get to work on the rest of it after that sits for, oh, I'm going to let it sit for a couple of hours just to make sure that that adhesive on the control panel overlay sticks. Uh, I did coat the... Um, control panel um, with automotive primer after sanding it smooth to about 220 and painted it with the primer then sanded it with 400 actually found a high spot because one of the inserts was needed to be backed out about a one turn maybe turn and a half and then sanded it all down got it like glass um, 
clean it off with some tack cloth to make sure there's no dust and then squeegeed the uh, control panel overlay on to make sure there's no air bubbles in it and should be good to go just give it a couple hours to stick really good and we'll get back to it Well, the first panel is ready for controls. Just finished doing the T molding. And uh, so we can see we've got some navy blue T molding all the way around. And that came out pretty good. And there's the seam. You can barely see it. So, pretty happy with that. Came out nice. The graphics came out really well. And I will include a link to Game On Graphics. And uh, good stuff. Looking forward to getting the other one done. It's actually uh, over here being prepped. Right now, the backside's been primed. It's just drying right now. And, uh, well, it looks white in the camera, but it's actually a pretty dark gray. It's just an automotive primer to help seal it and also help the adhesive from the overlay uh, stick a little bit better. So, anyway, then the fun, the fun part starts, wiring all that stuff up. So, anyway, there'll be more soon. Bye.